Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to the new series of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, Fire Red version, what the hell? We're playing Poke Duel, everybody. This is going to be one of the few series I do on my channel that's not an official game, but actually a fan-made game from uh, based on the Fire Red hacks. So, here we are. We're in the world of... Pokemon? No, it's the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. You're gonna see a lot of Pokemon characters and a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh characters, but I guarantee you we're in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. So this is the world. Hey, that's a Cyber Dragon. What the hell? Where'd you get a Cyber Dragon from, Professor Oak? Yeah, let's go ahead and just dive on in. Now I know everything about uh, Pokemon Fire Red. It's actually, well, I, I had Leaf Green, but whatever. I know everything about this game. It was the game I started with. It's the game I grew up with. So I am fully prepared to do a Let's Play of it again, but in Yu-Gi-Oh. So I'ma call myself Cooper. Yeah, there we go. I am Casual Cooper. Yeah, my name is Cooper. That is correct. Ah, your grandson. He's my rival, eh? What is his name? Um, a lot of people like calling him Blue. And I think that's fi fair, but I feel like Gary always suited him. Blue or Gary is fine. So I'm going to go with Gary. All right, yes, we're going to be fighting Gary in this Let's Play as our rival. Cooper, your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures will awaits you. Oh boy. All right, guys, we are in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh. Let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to boot up the PC. I do this every time I play the game, and you get a potion. Exactly. So this is just the Pokemon game, but every single Pokemon is now a Yu-Gi-Oh guy. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is going to change everything. Uh, standard difficulty, we're just playing regular Pokemon. Um, I'm trying to play this like actually if we were just playing it. Uh, yes, whatever. We're just playing it like if we we're just playing regular Pokemon. Nope, I do not. I actually just want to play a normal Pokemon game, but at Yu-Gi-Oh instead. <clears throat> nope, we're fine. Would you like to play with Infinite Rare Candy? No, God, no. I'm trying to have fun here. Just let the game mode to play. Default. Just good old default, man. Yeah, I don't want any gimmicks. I want to play the game like a normal person. Look, the best way to enjoy a Pokemon adventure is the normal way. And honestly, the crazy thing about this is this is Yu-Gi-Oh. So we have no idea what to expect. I don't know who's going to be the gym leaders. I don't know. I, I haven't played this game. The only thing I did was uh, test it real quick. I didn't even do anything. I haven't, I haven't even had my first battle yet. So... We already know how to continue the story in Fire Red, because all you have to do is this. <laughs> I, Like I said, I played the crap out of Leaf Green. We have no chance of getting lost, unless this game changes a lot. But we'll find out. So let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Professor Oak, can I get my first uh, Yu-Gi-Oh monster? I might accidentally call them Pokemon, but <laughs> it's. I think you can live with that. It's Roland! What the hell is he doing here? All right. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right. I told you to come. Just wait here. All right, Cooper, there are, th are three Yu-Gi-Oh monsters here. Go ahead and pick one. Yeah, you are a serious Yu-Gi-Oh duelist? Okay, good to know, Gramps. What? How come he, he gets to pick first? Because you're just going to pick his counter anyway, Gary. So let's go ahead and take a look. We could have Illusion Magician. Uh, it looks kind of gross. I would not pick Illusion Magician. Um, you could have... Ooh, Paladin of White Dragon. That looks really cool. Um, nah. You can have Black Chick! Yeah! Red Eyes Black Chick! Oh, crap. You already know who I am, guys. You already know how much I love Red Eyes. Cooper received a black, uh, the Black Chick from Professor Oak. Do you want to give nickname to this? Yes. We are going to call you, instead of Red Eyes Black Chick... Oh, you're female. Okay, um, we're going to call you... What's a good name? I'm gonna, you know what, what's a good name? I'm gonna call you... Oh, shit, yep, that works. We're gonna go with... Yeah, you can have a big nickname for your Pokemon, thank God. I'm gonna call you Scarlet. <clears throat> Giving you two T's for fun. Alright, and of course he picks the blue eyes. Oh, no. If it's powered in a blue eyes, it can already guess that that's going to become a blue eyes. You already know I got a red eyes, and that would be... Illusion Magician would be Dark Magician, so... I, the Illusion Magician looks like crap. I assume the Dark Magician looks great. And no offense to the guy who made this game. This is amazing. This is an amazing hack. Wait, Cooper, let's check out the, our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. All right, bring it on, Gary. 
It's time to have our first battle. Now let's see how... Oh, we look a little different, and yeah, they're Yu-Gi-Oh cards, that makes sense. Paladin of White Dragon comes in. Scarlet comes in. Now if this was the Yu-Gi-Oh game, we already lost. But since this is Pokemon, we actually have base stats, and we have ourselves um, other stuff. I know how to play Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh, so I'm pretty not scared. I, I assume that this game just has Pokemon attacks. Yes, it does. We have flying... Pa Wait, what type are we? Wait, what type are we? It's important to get to know... Yeah, that's what I want to do. Yes, thank you. Thank you. You're getting in the way. I thought we were just a fire type, but maybe we're a flying type. No, we're a fire type. Okay. Uh, modest nature. Ooh, I'm a special attacker. Ooh, it lets you know your IV EVs. We got amazing HP, amazing special defense. Let's just say ish, okay-ish speed, and then the rest is trash. Not even okay HP. Okay, so our EV IVs could have been better, but at the same time, who cares? Modest Nature lets me know I'm going to be doing good, but not in this fight. We're probably already lost, honestly. The fact that we have that nature means we can't do damage. In fact, we have to rely on crits, so let's just slow down our opponent. Yeah, attack down nature when your only move is peck, we're going down. I don't care if my best stat is HP. You guys saw I got ease on, like, defense and stuff. So this game does have a lot of quality of life stuff. One more growl and then I should be able to peck you. Because that should bring your damage down to one. Not uh, counting. Oh, shit. Oh, you're interesting. All right, well, we're, it's, it's going to be a long fight, guys. It's going to be a long fight. Natures have determined this. At best, I'm going to be doing one damage. Oh, yeah, we're doing one damage. Okay. Critical hits are our only hope. Let's fight to get those crits. But this is so cool. Someone put in all of this effort, which if you would like to see this game for yourself or play it for yourself, or if you would like to, um, you know, just thank the guy who made it, um, it's all going to be in the description down below. So get to the description and go, you know, go be a nice person. All right, he's still doing two damage to me, sadly. So I think uh, even if I growled again, it's fine. We're just going to fight to see who gets a crit. That's basically it. After he growled me that long... Oh, he's just growling again, yeah. After he growled me that long, I kind of gave up there. It's alright, I can lose to Gary in this game. I don't know what I'm doing. And Paladin of White Dragon has 1,900 attack stat. I have freaking 800, so what was, I, what was I thinking? Obviously, this game does have base stats, and I probably will go over them um, for the po uh, for the Yu-Gi-Oh! monsters, because you probably don't know anything about their base stats. So I might go over them for you. We'll just uh, you know cut to that whenever I feel like it, but... Let's just have this damage come through, and peck, peck, peck. Honestly, he's kind of letting me win by growling so much. Okay, he the AI doesn't know not to growl anymore. Okay, that's weird. I guess that, you know what, that does happen in Fire Red and Leaf Green too, so that, that makes sense. Although Gary normally used to just go ham on me. I would beat him still, but... Oh, we get a berry in this game. I did see an item, that's true. Orin berry, okay, but he didn't get an orin berry. That's just mean. How come he doesn't get one? You know what? We might actually win this fight. You know, I'll just take the victory because I do want to. I do want to get some experience. If he's just gonna play like this, then I'm just gonna get some experience. Come on, give me, give me that experience. Yeah, you growl me all you want. Let me peck your ass. Damn that one damn. This game must have really taken out the crits or something because we have not seen a single crit. In the old Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, we'd see at least like two crits by now. All right, there we go. You're there. We're just that lucky, unlucky. So the music in this game has changed, that's fine. It's, it's, it's fine. All right, if you win, you're in prize. Look, look, Oak, I, you have no idea how much I play Pokemon. You, we're fine. Okay, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Yeah, you'll make them. Smell you later, loser. So what are you here? Attention, duelist. I can adjust your game settings. Um, If I feel like the AI is playing really poorly, I'll change the difficulty. Uh, but that was just the first duel, so I'm not gonna worry about it. You study Pokemon, which are just Yu-Gi-Oh cards, consumable items. Oh, they changed this so you just instantly get your consumables back. Okay. Does that mean I still have the Orenberry? Look, look, I copy what it said on those trainer tips. Yeah. Oh, that's probably a good idea. We should probably save. <laughs> I, I, I should probably save the game. That would be a thing that people do in case things crash. Because this is a fan-made game, so I don't know how stable it is. I assume the guy put a lot of work into it, so I assume it... It's pretty good. Um, the saving takes a very long time. Yep, this is like the Digimon game. I gotta, I gotta save not too often. Just, well, I should save often, but yeah, we'll see. All right, let's see who we're fighting. It's gonna be a Beaver Warrior. Whoa, Beaver Warrior in the first grass? I don't even know what that thing is in this game. 
Oh, we should find out. Okay. I can't catch it yet because we still have to go to the Pokemon Center. Yeah. Or not Pokemon Center, the Pokemon Shop. That's how we get the story to continue in Fire Red and Leaf Green. And I assume nothing's changed in this game that way. Wow, we're losing to it. I do have an attack down nature. It makes sense. It makes sense. We got to be careful. Oh, yeah. It, that guy was right. Consumables don't go away. You can just keep using them. Um, what? Oh, no. Pickup has been buffed to do that? Uh-oh. This game is actually updated. I like that. Okay. You and me are going to have a real fight. Oh, shit. No, we're not. I lost. I should probably run. I am faster, but... Um, yeah, my speed stat isn't complete trash. But uh, I'm a little bit... Oh, I wonder if that means tackles 50 in this game. Because then Peck is just useless. And by that, I just mean it's really weak. Oh, no! There's the first crit. And we lost. We could beat Gary, but we can't beat Beaver Warrior. I lost 48 bucks. God damn it. I'm probably going to need that 48 bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beaver Warrior beat us. This is what happens when you get an attack down nature and your only move is a 30 damage or 35 damage peck. And eh, what are you going to do? Well, I'll try to find something weaker than a Beaver Warrior for sure. Because I'm assuming... Now, I don't know what evolves in this game. Obviously, I will find out. But um, I don't know what evolves in this game or what it takes to evolve um, the stuff. Since this is my starter Pokemon, I assume it will evolve anywhere between 14 and uh, 18. That seems to be the... Oh, Karibo's in this grass! Whoa! Opening area has Karibo. That's pretty cool. Scarlet, get in there. It's time to do some damage. No, that's more damage. Oh, defense mode. So they did add Yu-Gi-Oh moves. <laughs> that increases defense and special defense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I like that. Respectable. Yes, you're a stall Pokemon. Gotcha. Is Karibo... Well, Beaver Warrior would be Rattata, right? Does he evolve to make Raticate? Does he have something like that? I'm so curious. We need to get some Pokeballs so we can find this stuff out. Because I'll just have them in the party since I don't know what I want my official team to be. Red Eyes is on the team. That's the one thing we know about. Red Eyes is on the team. The rest we'll figure out along the way. Right, I'm just going to peck you into the ground and we get our first win. Real win in my opinion. Alright, 31 experience is actually a lot so I'll take it. Do, 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 do. This po Man, this Poke Duel game is really cool. Um, Beaver Warrior again. Level 2 this time. I could beat a level 2. I could beat a level 2. Go get him, Scarlet. She's a very strong Red Eyes. You have nothing to worry about. She may not be the best physical attacker, but down the road, I mean, we're bound to learn a fire move, right? And then that if it's Ember, we're in the clear. Alright, let's do a little pecking. I bet you guys are already trying to guess what my Red Eyes will evolve into. Like, what, what's its middle form? What's its final form? What is it going to be? Yeah, I am too. I'm very curious. This is going to be cool. It's going to be a very cool game. Uh, what's this? I already have a potion, but thank you. Yep. It's cool that it has a little description at the top there if you don't know. But since I've played Pokemon a million times... Oh, there's two people here. What the hell? Uh, Nurse Joy, is that your husband? Nurse Boy? Alright, let's go talk to Nurse Boy and see what he has to say. Hey, Nurse Boy, how you doing? Oh, what shit? You're the move tutor. Oh! Oh, I need badge. Oh, cool! What else do you have? Nature Changer and Move Tutor. Well, I'm fine with Modest. I just have to live with being weak for a bit. And, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. Um, I need to go to the Pokemon. Oh, hello there. What are you doing here? Wait, they moved the old rod? No way this is the old rod. Yeah, that's what he would always say. He's totally the old rod. What the hell? They moved the old rod to being right here. That's pretty cool. I like old rod. Yeah, maybe we'll find ourselves a magic card. So if you want to continue Fire Red and Leaf Green story, all you have to do is come in here. Yeah. I remember as a kid, I went everywhere trying to figure it out. And then I came in here and it was like, oh, okay, cool. I forgot Professor Oak even asked to deliver something because I got distracted by all the Pidgeys because I love Pidgeys. I actually, my first time playing Leaf Green, my first Pokemon was a Pidgey. I didn't even have a starter. My game was glitched. I'm not even joking. My cartridge was glitched. I started the game and it started it with leaf. Uh, it, literally, I walked into the first grass. Oak didn't stop me. A Pidgey appeared and then the game, cr like, it didn't crash. It, like, it turned the battle off immediately and then I had a Pidgey. It was the weirdest thing that ever happened to me as a kid. So I never got to start. The, start. the game said I picked Charmander, but I never did. So it's a liar. And I didn't have one in my party or in my box or anywhere. So let's just go over here. And let's go over here. So yeah, basically, I, that first time I ever played this game, I skipped that whole scene with uh, him saying, hey, you can't go into the tall grass. 
Yeah, I'm, see, I'm going to be a great trainer. Can I have five Pokeballs? I don't even care about the Poke... Well, I might care about the Pokedex in this game. Now that I think about it, this might be the first game where I care about the Pokedex. I almost forgot. What did you call me for? Ah, uh, yeah, you too. Here's some Pokedexes. With this, you can find all the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Make yourself a 40-card deck with them. Uh, Gramps, you're only allowed to use six of the monsters. Nah, nah, nah. 40-card decks. We're changing the game. See, once you get to the end of this game, it just becomes Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm joking. That'd be hilarious, though. Like, you have to catch yourself a deck. It's kind of like Chaz in the season, uh, season one of GX, where he was, like, on that island, and he had to, like, find the cards everywhere so he could make a deck to duel the guys. It was cool. Chaz is the best. Yeah, you're too old to get this. I hope he's in this game. Oh, I hope Arm Dragon's in this game. I love Arm Dragon. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I might try to catch all the Pokemon just because that sounds awesome. Uh, normally, I don't care, but since this is completely different and I'm this all exciting to me, um, I might try. So now, you don't have to do this, but we can go over here. I'm just curious if the town has changed, so we're going to get a map from his sister. Yeah. His sister's way nicer than him. Gary's kind of a dick. Hi, Daisy. That was nice of you. Daisy, where do people sleep in your house? I have to ask, because I assume Oak lives here. Oh, I guess it's two stories. I just didn't see how to get to the second story. You know what? I'm about to go on my adventure. It's rude not to say bye to mom. You should always say bye to your mom before you go on an adventure. And she'll even give you a quick rest, which is just super nice. Oh, good. You and your Pokemon are looking great. Take care now. Oakley dokley. Bye, mom. I'm going on my Yu-Gi-Oh adventure. We're going to be having some fun. So now I'm going to catch everything I find because even though I don't know what they do, I'm not I'm not saying they're going to join the team. I'm just catching them. All right. So no one get all excited like, oh, Cooper's going to use this. I might not. All right. I just want them on the team so I can learn more about them. Tail whip. I, my pecs do nothing. I really need to level up. I wonder if this game is updated like it looks like it is. Does that mean catching Pokemon would actually? Oh, he learns Noble Roar. Interesting. I wonder if that means catching Pokemon is um, going to give me experience. Okay, he's pretty low. I don't think I can put him any lower without accidentally killing him. So let's try a Pokeball. Uh, we get five to begin with, right? Yep, just like old Pokemon. Love it. Five is the perfect number. Hey, that was easy. We got ourselves a Beaver Warrior. Now... If I decide a Pokemon will... Be, oh, yep, we do. If I decide a Pokemon will be on my team, I will obviously give it a nickname. But, oh, I learned Quick Attack. You know what? That's another physical attack, sadly, but it's a good one since it has priority. Even though speed seems to be one of my better stats. All right, Beaver Warrior. What this creature lacks in size, it makes up for in defense when battling the, in the prairie. <laughs> Interesting. All right, that's uh, very good for Beaver Warrior. Now, let's learn more about Beaver Warrior. So, the Beaver Warrior. Sassy Nature, special defense up, see, speed down. Uh, Stats-wise, he's good on HP and defense, and the rest is trash, kind of. He has Pickup, though, and Pickup's apparently good in this game. Uh, yeah, he's just a normal type, which makes a lot of sense for a Beaver Warrior. So, let's just continue our adventure, try to find some more Pokemon to catch. Uh, I think today's episode will be more exploring and a little bit of, well, I guess catching his grinding. Up oh, a Karibo, level 4, okay. Karibo's pretty cool, so he might get a shot on my team. Uh, let's try Quick Attack, since, unless he's a bug type. I highly doubt. He seems like a dark type, right? Karibo would be a dark type. Although this is the first grass, so maybe they wouldn't do that. I'm kind of curious what type they'd make him. But if, if, I made it, if I made the game, I'd probably make him at least half a dark type. But uh, let's see what the, the game creator did, because they're pretty creative in general. So let's see. I got him down to about half, but I feel like I could do better. This Karibo's nice enough not attacking me, so I don't feel like hurting it by catching it yet. Ugh. Oh, okay, it has Pound. Pound's not too bad. That's uh, better than Peck. That's 40 damage. It's the same as Quick Attack, but Quick Attack has priority. And it took me till level 7 to learn Quick Attack, which means I'm probably not learning a move until... Ooh, you're going to be a problem. Which means I'm probably not learning a move till level 12. Well, let's try to get you to red then, which... Uh, yeah. None of that matters anyway. As long as I don't get a crit, we're good. Yeah, there we go. If you're going to make this hard on me, Karibo, I'm going to make it hard on you. Thank you. I was I was hungry. I might take that off if I feel like it's too good. But right now, I'm just trying to learn more about Pokemon. I'm not trying to die to wild Pokemon right now. I want to I wanna learn more about this game. 
All right, with my Yugi Ball, I can now catch a Karibo. So, Karibo, what the hell are you? Yeah, what are you in this game? And we get experience. And the rest of your team gains experience, which in this game I'm actually excited for, because that means I don't have to train the ones I just want to, like, keep around. A Karibo will always remain loyal to it. Oh, it's a loyal Pokemon. That's pretty cool. Um, I do like Karibo enough to want to give it a nickname. I'm going to call you... I'll call you... Instead of Kirby, I was thinking Kirby, but I'm, instead you're Furry Kirby, so I'm just going to call you Furby. I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, Furry Kirby. Furby. Alright, oh, let's learn more about Karibo. So, learning more about Karibo, he's a relaxed nature, which is probably not good. Uh, nope, it's speed down, and I assume Karibo would have been a fast... Oh, it has guts! It's Rattata. It's a normal... It's Pidgey? Karibo's the Pidgey. Okay, not what I expected, but great, uh, great IV EVs. Um, honestly, the only thing I messed up is that mine has bad speed. Not like it matters. I actually do not care that much. It's just the fact that I could see them. I'm just like, oh no. I wonder if there's, I I'll take one more look if there's anything else. There's probably another one, but uh, I don't need to see it if I don't get to see it. I already own this Beaver Warrior, which is why you see the Yu-Gi-Oh card there. Um, I could go for the kill just to grind. Yeah, why not? We gotta we gotta get some experience up. Oh, that's annoying. That is quite annoying, but I do still want experience. Alright, bring it on. There we go. Another noble roar. Nothing wrong with that. Respectable. I'm gonna give him the good old quick attack, and one more will end him. Unless that noble roar does exactly what he needs. Then he's just wasting our time. Nope, Red Eyes Black Chick did it. Good job, Scarlet. And with Scarlet's powers, we make it to level 8. And that's good. Spe okay, I'm going to build Scarlet like a special attacking, special defending speedster. That's uh, That seems to be the way to go. Beaver Warrior also hit level 4. That's cool. And that's fine by me. Alright, let's go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and then start going everywhere else and figuring out what's... What's around here? We also got an old rod, so we should probably use that, too. I think that would be a cool idea. We gotta learn more about this world of Pokemon. Or Yu-Gi-Oh, or where, where, where are we? <laughs> what world am I in? It's a Pokemon world for sure, but there's so much Yu-Gi-Oh in this world. It's exciting. Alright, so let's go ahead and use the old rod. So to do that, we're gonna go to our bag. I'm gonna go to old rod, and I'm just gonna register it, because that'll save me a lot of time. Alright, this one actually has a mini game to it, so I'm going to pay attention. Nope, didn't even get a nibble. Let's try again. Yep, there we go. Got to spam the button once that it's on the hook. Oh, they just put Beaver Warriors in there. Oh, level 5 Beaver Warriors. Okay. A little more respectable, I see. Well, that would be good experience, but I also think that that thing would kill me. <laughs> My red eyes black chick with no special attacks is pretty weak. I'm curious if that's the only thing we can find. Did they not add any actual water ones? I mean, I guess a beaver warrior could swim, I'm just saying. Whoa! What the hell is Alligator Sword doing in there? Okay, well, there's Alligator Sword. I'd love to catch you to figure out what the hell you do. I've always been a fan of uh, Alligator Sword. That's a... It has a ghost move. Okay. Yeah, it's, it, that's a freaking Joey card right there. And I'm already... I'm making a Joey deck. Not really. I'm going to make a deck of uh, Pokemon I actually like, so... There we go. Water gun. Yeah, if you're a water type, you're coming with me. Ooh, a critical super effective hit. Honestly, I should have died if it was a crit. I should have died. My special defense isn't bad, though. That's one of my best uh, nature... Not natures. That's one of my best IVs. I only have two Pokeballs, so we got to make them count. I gotta buy more, actually. We can't just do this. But getting an Alligator Sword would be interesting. Hey! Alligator Sword was caught. Now we can learn more about him. Scarlet gained experience. The rest of your team gained experience. I guess a Reptile Monster could be water type. That makes sense. I learned Multiply. So we Karibo just has his own special moves. That's kind of cool. Alligator Sword. Give a nickname. Uh, maybe. Just because you're a Joey guy. I'm going to call you, um, I 
Let's see. Hmm, that's hard. Let's go with... Al... His name is Al. Of... And then, let's go to... Owl of D. Because he's Alligator Sword of Dragons. Because obviously I think I can guess his evolution in this game. What else would it be other than Alligator Sword Dragon, the fusion monster? Granted, I'll probably let you know, but still. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and heal up our team yet again. We're definitely going to go to the Pokemon Center. And honestly, it's the first episode I'd like to play a little bit more. I'm not going to just get, you know, I'm not going to blue ball you guys. Let's keep playing. Um, and let's see what else is out there. See if we can find some cool Pokemon. So, I found an Alligator Sword. That's interesting. I found a Beaver Warrior. That's cool. And I found a Kariba. So far, so good. Um, how many can I buy? Yep, I don't mind being poor if I have 15 of these. Yep, there we go. And I, do I get a Premier Ball? You bet your ass I get a Premier Ball. Alright, there we go. Thank you, sir. And now we just go out on our adventure. Got to go in our adventures. So, some people forget, but if you've never played Fire Red or Leaf Green, always go over here first. Um, just because this is an area with its own special Pokemon. Depending on the game you're playing, if you're playing Gen 1 or Gen 3, you could find, like, Mankeys in here. You could find Nidorans if you're playing Gen 1. Like, there's a lot of cool Pokemon. So, I'm guessing there's cool Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep, Celtic Guardian! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, crap. I don't know what I'm going to do about making a team. This is going to be so hard. It's going to be so hard to make a team in this game. I'm going to want so many po- Why does he have foresight? What is he? What is he? I'm trying to think. Are you a fighting type because you're a warrior? Or how, how would they play this? Are you a normal type because you're just, you know, just a normal guy? Uh, let's try catching you. We're going to learn more about you. Celtic Guardian. Now, how would they do his evolution route? Would he have obnoxious Celtic Guardian? Would he have those other special ones like Noble Arms or whatever? Celtic Guardian of Noble whatever? Noble Slash? I don't remember. Scarlet's level 9 now. That's pretty decent. Um, he gained attack, or she gained attack. Good job, Scarlet. I'm proud of you. Uh, rest of our team is just gaining a little experience. Celtic Guardian has been added. Interesting. An elf who learned to wield a sword. He baffles enemies with lightning swift attacks. I highly doubt that makes him an electric type. You know what? Because there are so many, I'm not going to nickname for a while until I know their team members. Um, let's just take a look. He's a grass? Normal grass? What the? Uh, you know what? He's buffed on Sojin, so maybe that makes sense. Hypercutter prevents attack reduction. That's fine. I bet you they do come with a lot of different abilities. That's kind of cool. Water absorb. Oh, yeah. I never checked you either. What? You're pure water. I did not know that. A bold nature means attack down, sadly. Yes, defense up. But you're a special attacker, so I can make I can make that work. Yeah, you got water gun. That's actually a good nature. You can make that work. Um, however, your special attack is literally terrible, and so your attack stat is god awful. Your defense is very good, and your speed is very good, and the rest of your stats can be ignored. I guess I would say C is passable. Uh, but Celtic Guardian, you are a grass type, not what I was expecting. You only have no well, you're a normal type too, so that's fine. Um, your special attack and attack are the same. That's because your IVs and, and its special attack are way higher. Um, your HP is pretty good. All your stats are actually decent. Alright, cool. We have a Celtic Guardian now. Um, obviously there's got to be more than just one new Pokemon in this grass. So we'll just take a look around. Nope, just Celtic Guardian for now. Yep, I could grind off him, honestly. We gotta get that experience up. Uh, especially since I, sadly... Um, feel a little bit weak. If I'm still relying on Orenberry to save myself, and the fact that Scarlet does not have a special attack kind of puts Scarlet down, um, I am feeling a little weak. The rest of the team gains experience. Car outside almost hit my house. Don't just ignore that. Let's just move on and see what happens. Oh, wow. There's no way it's just Celtic Guard. They would at least be more Beaver Warriors or something. Uh, hmm. I'm curious. They got me curious. Celtic Guardian's pretty cool being a grass type, though, so I gotta figure out what kind of grass moves he would learn. Maybe Leaf Blade. Oh, he's gotta have Leaf Blade. Oh, that's so interesting. I j just thinking it right off the top of my head, that's really cool. Beaver Warrior got to level 5. That's always nice. Furby got to level 6. That's always nice. Um, We're just gonna keep looking around. Anything else? Okay, really? Is this just the Celtic Guardian place? There's nothing else in here? 
I mean, I understand Celtic Guardian is a very special Yu-Gi-Oh card in a lot of people's hearts, including my own. So giving him his own grass pile is probably, or maybe it's just a really high rate uh, chance of finding it. I remember another Pokemon you can find in here really early if you like. Uh, if you're not a Pidgey fan, you could always find a uh, Spiro in this grass in Fire Red and Leaf Green. So if you're more of the Firo family, you can get it right here. Or Turo. And uh, yeah, I've always been a Pidgey guy, but you know, some people are wrong and like the other thing. All right, do not walk up there though. I highly doubt they took out the game. Oh, <laughs> I gotta be careful. I, I highly doubt they took out the, the fight, so. Whoa, what the hell is that? Feral Imp, what the hell? What are you doing in this game? Who invited you to the party? Oh my God, it's just all the old awesome cards I used to love. Now Feral Imp, I can already think of uh, evolutions for it. Let me think. If he had evolutions, it could be that weird X Y. Oh, I don't know if this game even has X Y Zs. Now that I think about it, eh, we'll probably just take a guess. It could be that weird X Y Z, the king of the feral limbs. It could be. Oh, I got a super effect. He's a grass type. I didn't think he'd be a grass type. That's my bad. Um, it could be king of the feral limbs. It could be um, Des feral imp. People always forget that one. There's a Des like how Des wombat. There's Des kangaroo. There's a Des feral limb that I think Merrick used or Bakora. Uh, Celtic Guardians, I'm actually a little... Now I kind of want to look for Feral Imp. Thank you. I want to hit level 10, mind you, but I would rather find Feral Imp first, because that's really cool that he's in this grass. All right. Karibo's in this grass as well. Still not what I'm looking for. Good to see you, Furby. Uh, that's your brother, Furby. That's uh, Furbo. And we're going to go ahead and find... What the hell? There's a baby dragon in this area? This area has a lot more monsters than I thought. What the? That is so cool. Oh, that is so cool. Um, I have to assume you're just a dragon type. This might be an early game dragon. Which means it's probably a weak dragon, but who the hell cares? It's a goddamn dragon. Dragon types were busted back in... Oh, this game might have fairy types because it's updated. Now I'm very... I gotta really think. Maybe fairy types aren't... Uh, maybe dragons aren't as busted if fairies exist. Um... Yeah, you can growl me all you want. You're a level 5 baby dragon. You're joining the team eventually. Don't die to this, okay? No crits. Oh, son of a bitch! The one time you don't want to get a crit, you bet your ass you're getting a crit. Well, now that I know baby dragon's in here, we got work to do. We got a lot of work to do. Scarlet learned- Yeah! Scarlet learned the scarlet letter, Ember. Furby learned at level 7. I love to see it. All right, good job, guys. Good job. You know what? That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Next episode, we're going to go on a catching spree, and uh, I'm going to kick some party members out that I don't think I'm going to use, like guaranteed not important to me. So please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye Oh, this series is going to be so much fun.